Hey there, as many of you know, uh, we're heading across country and uh, moving out of California. And I've got, you know, stuff that I need to do while I'm on the road. I may do some video editing. I may need to actually do some work in you know, my regular day job. Um, so I've got a MacBook Pro. Um, I've got, you know, an iPad here. And I need to be able to have those powered while we travel, you know, across you know, the states. And uh, I was like, how do I do that? How do I keep maintain power? Um, and I looked and I found, since my tools that I usually use are Ryobi, I found this. This is the uh, 150 watt battery inverter. So it actually has on the end here, it has a regular outlet and two USB ports. So I'm gonna do some runtime testing. I mean, it does say back here that uh, a four, the four amp hour battery, which is, one of these that I have right here, a four amp hour battery, will charge a cell phone six times, will charge a laptop once, uh, will charge a tablet 1.4 times. So we're going to kind of test that and see if that's actually what I'm getting out of these batteries. Where are there this battery? Because I don't know what laptop they're using. Like what they say, oh, it'll charge a laptop one time. But what laptop they're using, how big that laptop battery is, all those things come into play. So I want to know how long it, if it's going to charge my laptop. That's what I want to know. So let's rip this package open, plug in a battery, and get charging. Okay, let's get this little package open. I got my handy dandy razor here. And we're just going to cut it right along here in the plastic now getting this so this this was the challenge right getting this thing of course they're uh, it's a Ryobi tool so um, they're sold at Home Depot and the problem that we had was well, we I say we I drug Mrs. Tech Show along with me uh, to the location that said they had them in stock, which uh, for the life of me, one Home Depot that we went to was counting the 40 volt ones as the 18 volts. So, plastic packaging. Okay. There we go. Holy cow. Okay, that's done finally. Okay. So, yeah, the the one store actually had the 40 volt ones of these, but I don't have 40 volt batteries, uh, and they had um, none of these in stock. So then I went to another store, and they had none in stock. Then I went to another store. Yes, this is just it forever. And I finally found a guy, put in the number for the product. And he said, oh, yeah, we have those. And then it's asked, well, where are they? And he said, well, they're not on the shelf. I'm like, you know, retail, if you want to sell something, you should probably have it displayed where people can pick them up and buy them. I'm, I'm just saying. Just one of those things, you know. So, yeah. Okay. So here's this. We have a battery right here. Um, it does rattle a little bit, so I don't know what that's about. So anyway, we'll snap it right on there. And now we've got it's on, so that means it's on. So we got flashlight. Wow, that is pretty bright, which is kind of nice. And so then there's off. Okay, so now Grab my uh, little big charger here. Uh, if you're wondering about this, um, I did make a video about it. This little big charger works for my Mac, works pretty well. So, let's get this out here. Plug in some things here. There we go. Plug this, turn on. Okay, it's ready to go. That's plugged in. And I will take this other end and clip it. The other 
into the adapter here, right here, and we plug this into the MacBook. And the MacBook lights up, shows that it is charged and charging. Okay, so I do have the screen brightness down quite a ways on the MacBook. Um, and nothing is running like if I were I don't know what would happen like it wouldn't charge very fast if I did um, Was playing some video or, or something like that um, Yeah, looks like you can put a little strap in there if you want to hang it someplace, but I don't think there was one in the package so Let's check this out Down here in the bottom. There's no there's some little instructions What's in here? Oh, yeah. Pull all this stuff out. Okay. And yeah, that's it. So just the package. We've got a few things here. Let's go over these. Okay. So we've got register your product. Of course, you should register your product and a chance to win ten thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. Like you're gonna do that like you're gonna win that okay so it just says it has a little label this is what you can and can't charge right so small electronics you're not going to use it for a drill a coffee machine ah, how will mrs tech show live a refrigerator uh big power tools or air compressor you're not going to do that but you can use a fan a little light an led light a radio laptop tablet and things like that so they give you this little card and then we have uh, a little sheet that is about all the warnings, uh, what you should and shouldn't do, and then uh, uh, safety instructions, operation, how to use it, and what all the buttons are for. You can't figure out that there's a button here that says on off reset and one that has flashlight. You should not be using the tool. Okay, and then there's the last piece, which is uh, a warranty sheet that has the warranty on it. Okay, there we go. Now, looking over here at my battery, my battery's 19% full. It says two hours, 19 minutes until fully charged. So we'll see. And this battery here still has. Push the button button still has four bars on it so I'm gonna let this sit and then we'll come back and we'll see when the laptop gets charged how much battery power we have left in the battery how many lights are left all right come back in a minute Okay, so we've been charging for about 25 minutes, and if I look at my little battery, there's two little lights left there. And if you can hear, it's obviously getting warm because there's a fan in here that's come on and is uh, cooling it all down. So um, the laptop is, I should probably put that on something else. Over here, okay. Laptop right now. If we look at it, charging, it is 43% complete. So it's not going to top the battery off, but it's it's going to get it fairly close to full, probably if I didn't have the screen on uh, sitting here, it might actually be able to get to full. The fan now just went off on the charger. So... That's nice that once it gets, if it gets warm as as it's going, that's a nice feature that uh, it has a fan in here to keep everything cool. I can do feel it. It is warm. So as it's, the transformer is moving the energy around that it's, it's uh, generating some heat, but uh, cool. That's nice. I like that. I didn't know it, didn't know it had that feature, but I'm sure that's in the instructions somewhere, uh, but I don't read instructions. What's that for? So anyway, it's still charging. Uh, we're going to go till the battery is dead, um, and we'll see how high we can get the battery charged on the MacBook. All right, continuing on. Here we go. Okay, it's now shut off. I, I hit the button again just to see if there's any power left in it. It's a little bit. I mean, there's, if I look at the uh, little light in the front, all it does is uh, just blink. It's about 
it's pretty much dead. So there's a little bit of power trickling off. So I was able to transfer, yeah, see there, it just went off again, 91%. Uh, so I got from 9% uh, to 91% on this laptop. Um, so I don't know if we're going to get any much else out of it. So um, about 80%. So it's able to charge this laptop about 80%. So that's pretty good. Um, I do have, an, I have a second battery. I got two 1.2 1, 1 hour batteries. So I'll be able to use those. Um, probably going to end up, I'm going to do another uh, test. I have my iPad here burnt, running the battery down. And I'll do another test with the iPad, see how long it takes to charge the iPad and how much battery power will be left in here once that is done. All right, so, but still, it did charge the, uh, charge the laptop, got it definitely usable. I mean, it was on the whole time. It may do better if, if I don't have it on the whole time. So I'm gonna take this battery here. I'm gonna let it cool down for a little while. Um, I do have, uh, Another battery so I can do some more testing. Clips right on there and then you're ready to go. Um, it does, the flashlight on this thing is like super bright. So that's gonna be kind of nice when you're, you know, out, you wanna see something, you know, trying to plug things in. It'd be nice to have a light to be able to do that, hook everything up. All right, well, there you go. It took, it ran for just over an hour and 20 minutes to transfer all that power over to my MacBook Pro. Um, so, yeah, I think it's good. I think it'll work good. I mean, definitely if you had the 40-volt one with the big, giant 40-volt batteries, that that would last a whole lot longer. But all I've got are the 18-volt ones. Uh, so this is going to work good. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Take care.